So hi again, everyone, and welcome to uh, our first webinar in quite a while. We had put the webinar series on pause, and we're really happy to start it up again today. Um, we added a new feature this year. You can probably see us on your screen through the webcam we have set up. And you've probably noticed that there's more of us here than there usually are during our webinar. So I'm just going to do a little uh, introduction to get you guys situated. Uh, I'm going to introduce the most important person first. It's our moderator. Patrick, who you can't see on screen right here. Um, he's here to take your questions, tell me if there's anything wrong with the audio. Um, so there is a question box in the frame of that GoToWebinar software. You're invited to type into there any questions at any time. We're not going to pause to answer them as we go, um, but we're going to pool them. And maybe if there's one that's really relevant, really topical, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it right away. So going around the table, we have somebody here uh, joining us. Um, that's Nick from Lightspeed, if you can just uh, give us a wave there. Nick is a known hand model, an Australian, hmm. and also uh, part of the partnerships team who's responsible to make sure that we uh, provide value to customers that, that, that sign up to the biggest promo ever. Mm. Uh, right over here, we have Mr. Ryan Fleury of, uh, the, everybody. of the AM Radio Voice. Uh, we have Vivian here from Lightspeed as well. And Hi, everyone. Welcome. And we have Faraz. Faraz is new to the uh, DACIS team. He's going to be one of our new reps. Um, he's going to be visiting with some of you guys at Pro. That will be his first trade show. So welcome, Faraz, to the DACIS team. Um, he has 48 hours experience with us, and we're hoping to uh, <laughs> get him working for you guys really quickly. So the topic for today is the automated smart store that you've always wished for. So just to go over a little bit of housekeeping right away, um, this is going to be the agenda real quick. We're going to start with some high-level stuff. What's the automated smart store? Why do I want it? What's in it for me? Some of the positive aspects. We're quickly going to go over how much it costs and then um, how to get going. And, and last but not least, we kept some goodies for you at the end. It's the what new, what's new. That's really what's new. Um, what's the new features of DAC is what, what yep. we're releasing and, and, and all of that. Lots right. of cool upgrades. Okay. So what is this concept of the automated smart store? What is this concept that, that, that we call the uh, ASS? Okay. Um, it, it works for us for our vertical, that the camera space, it works for the hardware vendors, which I noticed many of you are on, and it also works for the labs. So I'm going to ask you guys to be patient. If you're a camera store and I'm talking about lab stuff, we'll come back to the cameras. And if I'm talking about cameras, we'll come back to the lab stuff. It really works for both aspects of the business. Okay. So that, that, that first aspect of what we call the automated smart store is, is really um, getting you to sell everything you sell online, mm -hmm. right? Getting all of that inventory you have, all of that specialized inventory you have. So how often, uh, Ryan, do we look at uh, some web stores out there um, that are either on our platform or on other platforms and, and they take the time to put up their cameras, they put up their lenses, they put up their flashes, and then they run out of breath and they run out of yep. steam and they don't get those high value accessories, those high yep. value, they're probably missing a, a substantial amount of products on our website, to be honest. And myself, as a, an online shopper, I, I'm, I'm looking for those products, and I may dismiss a retailer for not having them and move elsewhere. Exactly. So that, that first aspect of this automated smart store that we're talking about is, is getting your point of sale, uh, getting the point of sale that, that we now represent and that we integrated into uh, our platform in a certain way, getting that Lightspeed retail platform, getting all the products in there uploaded directly to your DACIS web store, getting all that rich product information that has made us um, the go-to for photography websites for, for at least 15 years now. That's that's We've actually been in business more than 15 years. The time really flies. And, and, and it's really about getting that uh, specialty aspect of your businesses online and really reflecting that on your website. So getting all of that rich product data, all of those uh, multiple images per product, all of those product descriptions from the manufacturer, those product spec sheets, uh, that categorization, that rich parametric search, um, product videos, and, and really get that to the customer to have them engage on your website, right? They're all valuable tools as well to, to be relevant online anyways, you know, so. Exactly, exactly. So that, that, that first aspect here, 
the way this works when I say that your POS connects to your website, um, what we've done is we've built an integration between Lightspeed Retail and the DACUS web store. So every time you go into Lightspeed and you process a transaction, every time you go to Lightspeed and you change your price, every time you go to Lightspeed and you add a new product, all of that automatically goes up to the website and gets connected to that rich product added on your DACUS web store. Right? So the, the way we work is, is for example, you've just received your, your shipment of Nikon Z cameras. I know there's a big Nikon promo going on right now. You take that stock intake, you create new products if they're brand new to you, or, or you add quantity. Um, what we do automatically is, is when we pull that data up to the web store from Lightspeed, we're going to go look in our product database for the UPC. If we find a match, which we will for most core products and most photography products that you carry, automatically that product is going to be on your website. You won't have to go uh, hunting and pecking for those photos. You don't have to do that copy pasting into Lightspeed or into your e-com platform or into your, your, your other web store and, and, and that time consuming um, process that you guys are always doing. Yeah. Right. That being said, um, admittedly there are, there are items that won't match the UPC and whatnot. They, 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 there will have to be a manual intervention. You know exactly so so the way that that connection works is actually a two-way street so from the uh, DACUS web store we can pull up all that product information from Lightspeed but we can also uh, work in a more traditional fashion and and bring a product into the MyDACUS add your SKU and then that product will automatically match up and stay updated with what's in Lightspeed so in the eventuality that there's no match that's covered as well mm -hmm. And then we have other retailers because we've onboarded a few retailers already who either don't have a POS or have a POS that, that the data is so jumbled and messed up that they actually started from all the data in their DACUS web store and they pushed all of that down into Lightspeed. All the, the, the vendors, the vendor IDs, all of the product categories, um, all of the product descriptions, uh, the brands, and, and, and then that just went and populated into their web store. So that's a process that takes about um, 10 hours of computer processing. Uh, unfortunately, that, that there's no way around that, but you started uh, in the evening and the next ten, morning. 10 hours is still a whole lot less than the time <laughs> you normally spend. It, so it, it really down. is. Yeah. It really is. So, so that's how that, that works there. Um, so the main advantage here, right, why do you want this? Um, the main reason is to add all of those products to your website, add all of those pages to your website, add all of that content to your website. The more products on your website, the more Google will index pages, the more that rich product information you have, the more people will come to your site directly from organic searches, and the more ready you are as well to just do AdWords, to do Google Marketplace, and to do all of those other things. It goes further than that, though. Like the more information that you do have on your website, the more chances that you have of being found online and actually generating foot traffic and having people come into the store, exactly. allowing you an opportunity to create a relationship with the customer. And you'll have less bounced visits. Customers will find what they want. They'll engage with your website. They'll stay. And that leads to conversions. Now, so th that's the main uh, portion of what that, that, that automated smart store is for, for the um, hardware e-commerce where that comes in for um, the lab guys so all of you are either a camera store or a lab or even both now what we're doing on that aspect is we're actually pushing transactions directly um, into Lightspeed Retail the moment they're done. So if you have, uh, and we have one right there, and, and we'll have one on all the trade shows we're going up to, if you have that that Fuji uh, TX100 with the Dacus Instant Print Kiosk, the moment an order is placed, that order goes into Lightspeed and is ready to be processed right at the cash register. Uh, if you get an online order, that order comes into Lightspeed and is ready to be processed directly uh, by the customer. Same thing if you get a photo factory order, if you get a pro event order, if you get a camera order. That order data filters directly down to, to Lightspeed. And, and what's really nice about how we've done that integration is you can go and push down your entire online printing solution, your entire OPS catalog, all those photo factory products, uh, be they done in-house, be they done at Fuji 3PG, be they done by color centric, all of that product data gets pushed down to Lightspeed. So you have all of this information, you're gathering all of this information on your sales, on your customers, you have all this rich information that you can then use to, to, to target either your customers with uh, some promotions or, or just 
analyze how you're doing, analyze mm -hmm. your, your cost of sales, things like that. Like how often, Ryan, have, have we heard of retailers who just simply go uh, and put a bag number and a printing number and say, well, this is print job 21 and it was $20. A lot, and you don't really get any specifics in there whatsoever. Yeah, and 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 then you're you're looking at your customer database twenty years later, and everyone's just ordered bag number yeah. this, bag number that, and you can't really target your customer base. You don't have that granular information on on what your customers want. What yeah, you don't know how to market more. accurately. Exactly. So, yeah. so that's that big inf that big advantage there. Um, you reduce your error rate. You don't have staff keying in orders manually. Um, you reduce the time it takes for that staff in the back lab at the job downloader to communicate things to the front of the store. Um, you just improve on all those customer touch points, customer service elements that, that you want when somebody calls in with questions. Right? Right. Exactly. Um, so again, the, the main advantage that makes this all worthwhile uh, above and beyond building your own web store is that rich, DAC is product information, um, that rich product catalog. We've been doing this for over a decade. There's hundreds of thousands of, yep. of SKUs in there now. Um, all the ProMaster data now has all the Prop 65 information for those of you that are selling in California. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a whole other conversation at Pro for, for you American dealers. We'll cover that there. I'll skip over that. Um, but, about, about the data, though, like, um, just to point out, whenever you do sign on as a DAC is customer with the web store, advanced web store, you're entitled to data that comes with it. But if you're looking for that additional boost, if you're looking to get, for instance, the data about camcorders, uh, studio accessories, studio gear, and all that kind of stuff, we do have additional data packages that you can purchase. So you can actually have a full lineup of gear, of data. Yeah. You know, contact us. That data is, uh, can be very useful for new products as well. The first ones that are going to put them on their, their website. Yeah. going to be seen by Google and the major search engines. Well, that's a good point. When the Nikon Z7 was coming out, or the Z series, I should say, we were we were one of the first to get the data out, and that was a wild sprint. Yeah. That was a wild sprint, and we had it. We nailed it. And that's right. <laughs> so we know what the automated smart store is. Um, we know a little bit of how it works. But, but what are those tangible advantages of, of going through this project? Why do I want this POS? Why do I want it linked to my e-commerce site? Um, those are probably some of the questions that are streaming into Pat right now, if you guys are asking. Um, well, well, simply put, um, by automating this process, you can go from having 100 or 200 products online, struggling to maintain them, showing products that are occasionally out of stock and frustrating customers, forgetting to add that new camera you took in and then you're losing sales because mm -hmm. that flagship product is in there. So you go from that daily struggle of maintaining all that information to having literally thousands of products properly maintained with quantity available, with mm -hmm. pricing updates. So just you, your, your website more than triples in size. Your website it just looks huge to yep. the eyes of Google with all of this this product data. And and what's nice about the product data, at least the product data that Dacus supplies, is it comes out of the box SEO ready. That means that on every page, all of those meta tags, those page titles, those H tags, all of that micro data information, the Facebook open graph data, yeah. Um, the micro format tags, all of that is included on each and every product to, to semantically tag those products and, and make sure that Google sees exactly what is on that page. Yeah. I'm going to point out something too about, you know, we're talking about quantities here when you're uploading your products. Let's say you do have an old set of products on your website, quantity is set to zero. In the advanced web store and DAC, you can actually set rules that can take products off your website if quantity is set to zero or can offer them still to be for sale if quantity is set to zero. Like the different rules that can apply. It's an advanced feature, mind you, but it's very useful. Well, I, I, it's nice that you bring that up because I think that the DAX web store at this point in time has some of the most um, advanced multi-store quantity management features yeah. um, out there and, and, and we're just looking for somebody willing to integrate 
and, and get that so we can show. Um, there's custom rules as to if customers can order and pick up in a store if you do have a quantity there or not. Um, there's custom rules as to, to shipping from all of your stores, like do you have this pooled inventory amongst your stores or do you have one dedicated warehouse? Mm -hmm. So this is something that we, we worked really, really hard to, to solve um, for multi-store retailers. And it's quite unique uh, in the marketplace for uh, an e-com platform to come out with this out of the box. Yeah. It's a well-oiled selling machine. Yeah. Anything to add? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's keep going. So um, usually we do product demos during these webinars, but we've decided not to go in depth with the product demo. Um, every time we've done that in the past, it leads to super technical questions. It leads to us just going on a tangent Ooh. about something that, that is interesting to one <laughs> viewer, but not to the other 40. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do, if you have any very specific questions, if you have any requests for a demo, write them in the right hand side. Some of them we're, we're going to address uh, during the Q&A period, but also you're going to see there's a link in an upcoming slide to actually register for a trial. So you can just take this baby for a spin, right? So the screenshots here, it's just a little bit of a, you know, the proof's in the pudding. So there's a screenshot from Lightspeed um, in the top right. That's Lightspeed Retail. You can see a customer in. I was doing a search for a customer. It's a customer who happens to share my name. So that must be a test order that I placed. And, and you can clearly see in your point of sale that that's customer info that comes from your e-com, from your kiosk, from your mobile ordering platform. And that's right there. And then we have uh, just a transaction. So it's a transaction that Phil actually did. Phil, uh, for those uh, that aren't aware, is our uh, jefe, our, our CEO. So he was playing around with the system when I found one of his orders. And you can see on the right hand side, there's that shopping cart ID and then the same reference number in Lightspeed. So, so it's very easy to use um, those email confirmations, those job downloader print, uh, printouts, and you can just scan those into Lightspeed and it'll bring up your order because we, we reference everything back and forth together. I'm noticing too, I mean, you have a list of customers. In this case, it's just the, the um, legendary Patrice Hugron is up there, right? But yes. if you have a point of sale and you're migrating from your old point of sale to Lightspeed, it is possible to extract a customer list and then to import it into Lightspeed. Exactly. So, so, valuable so when you get set up with uh, with this new POS with Lightspeed Retail, what we do, um, well, either ourselves, yourselves, or the Lightspeed onboarding team, which are very, very helpful, is we take all of that rich customer data that you might already have in, in various places, either your current POS, um, if you have a, an email newsletter platform, if you've been collecting them in the MyDACIS, you, if you didn't know in the MyDACIS, you have a history of every customer that's ever ordered from your site, and you have a, a consent checkbox. Very uh, 2019, a consent checkbox. You are allowed to contact them or you are not allowed to contact them. So that way you know um, exactly the status of, of your customer database and you can get that imported into your, uh, mm -hmm. your new POS. It's also, if that's a daunting task, we do have something called the concierge service that a lot of you are already signed up for, where we can actually help you and assist you in that process if, if you need assistance with it. Yeah, the concierge service is really a, a, a service where we do all the heavy lifting. We do all the heavy lifting and we walk you through the process and really do all those tasks that you know you have to do with your website or in this case your point of sale yeah. and just don't have time or the desire to do. <laughs> yeah. So in this case, helping you get set up with Lightspeed could be a mandate that you assign to us, you know, so through the concierge service, depending on your plan, we can help you make it as painless as possible. All right. And just another quick, uh, quick screenshot. So, uh, on the left, you see that's what product data looks like when we sync it down from our system. So these are, are, are obviously lenses. Um, I believe they're Sigma lenses. Uh, you can see the category. You can see that product name, which, which is that long form product name similar to the website, uh, the UPC, and the um, manufacturer product code are pushed down as well. I, I have to say, after doing a few integrations, the cleanest method of getting information into your Lightspeed account is when you push it down from your DACIS account. Yeah. Into so Lightspeed. if you have a well-maintained DACIS yeah. account, you spruce it up a bit, you push that down into Lightspeed. That's probably the easiest, the simplest, the quickest way to do it. If you've been neglectful and you don't have a well-maintained uh, MyDACIS account, then there, there are other methods that, that we can use to, to get all that synced up. Um, and that's part of the onboarding process. It is. Yeah.
Okay. Um, so big question we keep getting, uh, how much does it cost? <coughs> so essentially, um, the, the price of Lightspeed Retail will vary according to how many stores, how many employees, how many registers you have. In that simplest case, um, it's 99 bucks a month. If you have that one shop, five employees, one register, um, there are ways if you sign up for multiple years to make that number a little bit smaller and, and, and there's other things that can happen there. Um, generally speaking though, when you do have multiple registers, when you have 20, 30, 40 employees like some of you have, contact us, we'll get you a quote specific to your needs. Um, we don't want to uh, over promise and under deliver. Mm -hmm. So that's really the best way to do it. And then, um, and then obviously uh, there's the DACUS services, the DACUS web store, the OPS. I mean, the DACUS web store, it starts at 145 a month. There's really no simpler way to get on. 189. DACUS web store, yeah. Because we're talking about the high performance, the high responsive, performance responsive web website. Yeah, exactly. Tablet, mobile, and phone ready with all the product data. That's yeah. correct. We'll have some screenshots of that coming up as well. Um, there's the OPS that can start at, at 50, 75 or more, depending on the volume of transactions you have. And then the key. There are flexible as well. plans as well. You can also change your plans on a monthly basis if you need to. Exactly. So contact us. We'll give you an exact quote that meets your needs. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So this is uh, what we call the obligatory uh, inspirational quote from El Jefe. Um, if you wait for the perfect conditions, you'll never get anything done. Um, that's true in our business. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with retailers long enough to know that it's really true in your business. Um, no time is better than now to minimally get in touch and get some information. Uh, and, and then this is something, I mean, it's cloud-based, uh, it's not reliant on, on heavy equipment, heavy machinery, uh, support is 24 seven, um, for all of the, those POS needs and, and training is readily available from DACIS or from Lightspeed, mm -hmm. depending where you want to get it from. Brian, do you want to, sure. how do I get started over? Sure. So let's say that um, you want to get started with Lightspeed, which in fact you all should. Um, what you need to do is to start with your 14-day trial. So you need to go onto our website, go to dacus.com slash trial, and you can um, start filling out a, um, a form, get interested, uh, show some interest in some of our services, and then fill out a form that will allow you to start using Lightspeed right away. Okay. Once you've registered, your 14-day trial will immediately start. The clicker is going. Okay. Um, and and if you download the PDF, which is available um, in that go to webinar control panel, you'll notice that that link is actually clickable, and it will take you to the correct page as well. So mm -hmm. that spot that says click here, number one, well, click there. Yeah. Um, once you're signed up with Lightspeed, once you're signed up with everything you need, the web store, etc., um, you need to ask us to help you get things. So there are a couple of steps that we need to take on our end. Correct? What are those steps, Pat? To, to so sync? once you have your your Lightspeed trial, once you've registered interest and you're ready to go, um, what we will do is we will push down your product data. Uh, into Lightspeed. We'll make sure that it's clean enough that it's good to go. That way you will be able to test transactions with uh, UPC codes. You will be able to test mm -hmm. with uh, live product data, live printing product data, live camera product data yeah. uh, from your MyDAC is directly to your Lightspeed account. So we'll do that so that you have something to play with. Um, worst case scenario, if you're not happy with it or if you do things in Lightspeed that aren't okay, we, we can have that wiped. Uh, and then when you're ready for the true onboarding, we'll, we'll, we'll do it very cleanly. Yeah. But at least you get this uh, hands-on experience. You get to put your, you have an expression in French, les mains dans la pâte. So you know, when, you're, when you're baking, you're getting your hands in the dough. Uh, you start working around with it, playing around with it. That's that's the best way to know if this is right for you. Yeah. And, and once you're, you're done playing with it and you're satisfied, um, essentially, what you need to do is get a quote at that point. You know, you evaluate how many employees are going to be using it, how many registers you need, and you'll get your own custom quote for um, the, for the service, for the Lightspeed service. It's going to be all good. Um, once you're all signed up, 
uh, you're going to be entitled to three months of light speed service. So that basically what that means is that you're going to get your, if you're signing up for 12 months, you're indeed signed up for 15 months of light speed. And then every additional DACA service that you sign up to being the web store or an upgrade to the, uh, the advanced web store, uh, an additional kiosk or whatnot, um, you're going to get three months of that as well. So essentially that's what makes it the biggest promotion ever. The biggest promotion ever. Lightspeed was very service. generous, yeah. very generous in saying you get three months. If you sign up for 12, it means you get 15, right? That's what three months means. And and we figured, well, that's that's well, that's one good idea right there. And I know a good idea when I see one. So we decided to match it. You sure do. Uh, if you're not a, if you're not a, <laughs> If you're not a DACIS customer, that means whatever services you sign up for will be free for that period of time. And if you are a DACIS customer, whatever add-on services you get, yep. the web store, the OPS kiosk, the pro event, data, additional data, yeah, 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 yeah. the only service that doesn't qualify is a concierge service yeah. because a concierge service is a very time intensive, staff intensive process. That is the only exclusion from this biggest promotion ever. Yep. And to service that um, can serve a lot of purposes, not just getting your life speed set up, but helping you establish online strategies, um, helping you get databases set up in your photo factory or getting your prints set up, uh, building specific pages for promotions. And you'll get more ideas of what it can do for you when we start talking about uh, the upgrades that are coming up too. Like, uh, there's a lot of things to me that I think the Coast Share service can help with when yeah, you're looking definitely. at the upgrades. All right, so let's take another step. So here we have a slide that says some of what's new. Um, this is really the um, the candy to keep you sticking around because I know you all want to know what's new for, for the fall. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick pause. Uh, we've been talking for a while. We're going to ask our moderator if there were any specific questions relating to the automated smart store, to Lightspeed Retail, to the Dacus web store. Um, it's been very quiet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, people, send us your questions. Let's do it. Keep our webinar going. I, I suspect going. Uh, our Australian crowd is not fully awake. Uh, the flat whites haven't kicked in yet. <laughs> 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 okay, so look, I will encourage you to ask questions. I will encourage you to put those into the comment box. Uh, Patrick is here to filter those out. Yes. While you guys are coming up with the perfect question, um, would you want to see some of the new features coming out? I do. Do you? Yeah. All well, right. I've, I've, I've seen them already. It's not a surprise no. to me. I've yeah. seen them too, but whatever. Okay. Let's just get to it. <laughs> so the, the first uh, new thing that's rolling out, and it's actually available now. We've launched it on a, on a handful of websites now. It's the high-velocity predictive search. And, uh, well, really, it's only the predictive search, but I call it the high-velocity predictive search because it is so damn quick. Um, one of the major difficulties in our industry is that product nomenclature with the, the, the millimeters and the focal lengths and those adapters and then just Canon naming their products with one letter like the Canon EOS R mirrorless. Mm -hmm. um, those are all things that will confuse search engines on websites and, and we've built something for you now that, that deals with it properly. You have that predictive search on the left hand side and, and then the mobile version on the right hand side. So that's that's a free upgrade to everybody using the Dacus Advanced Web Store. Yeah, and it, it works quite well. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for as well. Like, I mean, this is a long-awaited update that a lot of people have been it's requesting. probably one of our most requested. Yeah, and um, just to go back on that, like, I mean, we did a search a while ago on a, a website for the EOS, and what showed up? Nikon cameras. Nikon. That was a little weird. So. Yeah. Uh, the proof's in the pudding. That's something you're going to be able to try out at all the trade shows coming up. We have it on our own demo website. We have it on some retailer websites live already. Yep. Next big change. We're completely revamping our checkout process. We've got some uh, question about light speed. All right. We can try to address them now. Let's uh, do it. That's yep. the whole yeah. point of this session. Okay. This is all the candy that, that we want to show to keep you guys here. We'll, we'll answer sure. the light speed sure. questions now. That makes sense. We've got uh, Ross Eichen asking, what version of Lightspeed does it take uh, or require? Is Lightspeed on site good? So this integration works with Lightspeed Retail, the cloud-based retail um, POS that works on, on Macs or on iPads. Um, it will not work with Lightspeed on-site, but we do have Lightspeed representatives here. 
do you guys have a migration path from on-site to retail? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, you're right, so it is available once you retail. Um, we do have quite uh, a few on-site clients who have moved over to last retail in the past, let's say 18 months or two years. Uh, there's been a big movement there. Uh, we have uh, dedicated account managers who know the migration path, can explain it, uh, can provide a demonstration of the retail uh, product, which is Lightspeed uh, Retails, the cloud product, uh, with a sales engineer. And then if you're interested and you see the value in retail and the, the solution with DACUS, uh, we even have a separate uh, sort of defined onboarding pathway for existing on-site clients who are moving to retail. So the handholding is a little bit different. Uh, these, those onboarding reps and the initial training is by somebody who knows on-site and retail extremely well, can sort of show you how things work in on-site now work in retail, uh, and basically allow for a smoother transition and better migration, and allow you to uh, basically access all the uh, amazing features in the DACA solution if you, if you do move to retail. There was a quick follow-up question that I mm -hmm. saw. Mm -hmm. And then, um, is there a price per employee? I think we covered that. So but maybe that's precise. So, so, so the pricing varies by location, by employee, by register. So really, um, the best thing is to get in touch. Send us. Uh, well, Patrick can take your information, and we can just get in touch with you after the webinar, so that we can evaluate your needs and then really get you that quote that is specific um, to your requirements. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. All right. So while Pat is still going through uh, those questions that are actually coming in now, I'm very happy with you guys. You guys have started uh, waking up. You started sending some questions in. Oh, the moderator um, looks busy. So <laughs> <laughs> what we have on screen right now is the new shopping cart process. Um, we launched our high performance responsive websites last year. Yes. And we brought our old shopping cart with us because we needed a shopping cart. Yep. And it was tried. It was tr trusted. It works. Uh, but it got a little dusty over time and now we have this new experience. Um, so what we're trying to do with that new shopping cart is you'll notice on screen on the left hand side you have a sign in process and a guest checkout. Um, we've always been big proponents of allowing customers to get through this shopping process without having to jump through hoops and hurdles. So that guest checkout process keeps that flow intact. And we're also very, very aware that getting that customer sign-up information is, is huge as well. So that's where that, uh, that soft suggestion of signing in or creating an account, if they haven't done it by that point, maybe once they're, they're committed to that purchase might be the right time to do it. And we also remind them at the end of the process as well. And then it's just a nicer design. Um, you've got that, that flow menu on the right with the, 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 the images of the product to review your order, your estimated shipping, your estimated taxes, just a better look, a better feel, a better flow to it. And then and also it, it is responsive so on the right hand side you have that visual, visualization on, on mobile yeah yeah for having tried it myself I think it's quite a nice upgrade it's the shopping cart that we need in 2019 yeah, about time definitely. <laughs> and um, again it's a free upgrade whenever you're signed up to the web store the advanced web store in this case in the online photo solution this is a free upgrade. I mean, you're going to be privy to this. And anecdotally, um, it really showed that some of our developers just how complicated and complex some of your businesses are yeah. with that in-store pickup, that online shipping, that in-store payment for print orders, that online payment with multiple uh, different payment processors, and then just the order routing for the multi-store for the hardware uh, availability and, and just that, that, that printing availability. So that's, that's really cool. Are we ready for another question, Pat? Uh, we've got two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I see you writing there. Are you, are you ready for you one? You can jump in at Just any time. Just trying to sort out which one to um, put at the end or to address right now. Um, it's Alex from uh, Lightspeed. He wants to mention that you've got partners to help with uh, the data migration. Yeah, that is, that is true. Um, so yeah, there is... Uh, Tie with the concierge uh, service you guys offer, and if there is a need for data migration, uh, there is an extra uh, added layer of service that we can uh, talk about. Um, happy to give information after the webinar, uh, talk about how that process works and uh, what it looks like. But yes, it's definitely something that we can help with. There's also Aaron from uh, Caligas. Aaron, Caligas. Hey, Aaron. 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 
he wonders uh, he's got some products uh, or not in the DACUS database. How do you push them down if you opt for that strategy? So there's different uh, options there. You know, part of the DACUS service is that we are always expanding our product database. So if you have products that are part of the photography vertical but aren't in our database, we'll send us a list. It's always been part of your service that we yeah. will make those products available. Now, if you're talking about 2,000 products, we will ask you to be a little patient. That's not going <laughs> to be done overnight, um, but that's always been part of your service. So send us that list. Um, if you can send it as detailed as possible with that product name, that UPC, that MPN code, that way we're sure not to make any mistake. And yourself, uh, all the other pro members, all the photo source members, all the Cantrix members will all thank you for doing that because you're making your colleagues uh, benefit from that product data as well. Okay, but let's assume we're talking about used products in this case as well. You know, if you are part of the, uh, if you are a cross-share service user, Aaron, you are, you can also send in a list of those products to us and we have a product request team that will be able to add those to your web PIM and to your database. And alternatively, as with most NACA services, well, you can do it yourself you if can. you are a DIY. I noticed there was a Kiwi on the call, notorious DIY hires. Um, you can go on the web PIM, you can build out those products. The only thing you need to do to make sure that they sync up uh, availability, quantity, pricing updates is make sure that SKU in that MyDACUS and that SKU in Lightspeed match up. So if, if you do start selling things that are not supported, that's the way to, to make sure it syncs up. Yeah, so you have two options, DIY or enjoy your life and have a barbecue. Correct. <laughs> There's another good question here. Is there a single support line that will help them for both products? Okay, so in, in, in theory, we would recommend you to contact us for most things. There are some exceptions. We, DACIS cannot really support the hardware. DACIS can't support your pin pads for your payment processing. And, and, and various specific uh, accounting features. And when you're really, really far into that, uh, that setup process, but, but for all of the basic stuff, we can do that product demo for you. We can help you show you how to create new employees. We can help onboard you, things like that. Um, so the answer is no, there's no single support line, uh, but our communication uh, flows pretty well. So if you ask us a question that, that, that should go to Lightspeed, we'll make sure they get it quickly. And if you ask them a question that should go to us, well, they'll, they'll send that back. We actually have, a, we just set it up. We have a Slack channel. Yeah. So we have an instant uh, chat channel so that we can quickly communicate with each other all of these issues that you have, which might not be addressed to the correct partner. Yep, as I say as well, you also have a, uh, myself and Vivian who are dedicated uh, as like uh, from the partner relationship aspect with DACIS and we can also create tickets on your behalf if customers do contact you first, have that first front line and then we can then take on anything else beyond then and, and then provide that information back to, to either yourself or the customer directly. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just to follow up with Aaron's question, he, he precise. Um, what about his services? I guess, Aaron, you've got services okay. in your so, POS uh, archival restoration so, film. So when we're talking about services, there's two aspects of services. There's obviously all the services that are offered through the kiosk uh, and the online photo solution. So those get pushed down from your MyDACIS directly into Lightspeed. And then there's all the other services that film restoration, that DMP, that, uh, that all of those specialty services that you do over the counter. Well, those, we can we have multiple options. Um, if they are in your current point of sale, we can take those and it's part of your data migration because they are products, they will have their own category, they will exist in your new system. Um, so it can be part of that data migration. And once you're up and running, uh, creating a new product in, in Lightspeed Retail, it really just takes seconds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so we typically have those products in mind so as a non-inventory item yeah. um, or if there's inventory with it, you can have it as a standard item. Um, and also, I mean, there's the you know, functionality of, of work orders too, which allow you to type you know, uh, products and labor uh, with any kind of services if you wish to use that to sort of track all those open orders and tickets if that's something you do need in your store. Yeah, and in the eventuality that you don't have these in your current POS or don't have a POS at all, uh, we can work with an Excel spreadsheet. If you have a product code on it, a price and a name, uh, there's ways to quickly create those products in, in, in LS retail. So there, there's no real issue there. 
you know, clients keep it uploaded themselves. Like I said, mm -hmm. if there's a DIY on there, you can upload your own. And you guys have like a, a fairly extensive uh, help portal online, right? Yeah, the, the help portal online actually is really detailed, videos, hyperlinks, very well laid out. We sort of refreshed that in the last uh, 12 months. Uh, I use it myself, I use yeah. it with partners, I use it with customers. It's very dynamic um, and very uh, easy for someone to follow themselves. So uh, like with Dacus, we can sort of take it from, you can do it yourselves and you know, grab the bull by the horn, so to speak, mm -hmm. or we can help you with that. And Aaron again wonders. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like a good question that. too. Uh, that's a very good question. If he's topical, can he's the DACUS integration send print orders into the Lightspeed work order system, or so, does it only enter directly as a cell? Okay, so that's a very good question, and it does enter as a layaway sale actually. So it enters as a sale that has been made but not paid. Unfortunately, at this time, and this is something I brought up at the last partner conference, and I will bring up again on your behalf, um, is the ability to create work orders via the API. So at this time, we can. not So like I said, it comes in as a sale on layaway, uh, which is an unpaid sale. Unless it actually is paid online, then it comes in as a completed transaction. And from those, I believe you can create a work order, correct? Yes, exactly. So you have that uh, additional step once that sale is there to create the work order. Um, but I'll, I'll pester them for you, Aaron. You know, you know I will. I'll pester them too. <laughs> <laughs> One more question from Leo. Um, maybe for Nick, does Lightspeed integrate with uh, QuickBooks or any sort yeah. of uh, accounting system? Yeah, that's a, a yeah. great question. So yeah, so uh, Lightspeed Accounting is a module. Uh, you can add that to your offering. Uh, if you want that, just let us know. We can put that in the quote and talk about it. Uh, essentially, it is a, a connector and it pushes out all your GL accounts to either QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. We've got some other options. That definitely is the majority of uh, our users who use that. And, um, and some versions of Sage and a yep, few Yeah, yeah, of Sage and uh, Zero as well for people made in Australia and then New Zealand. Uh, it's more popular down there. So yeah, and we are adding more and more uh, options to that list. Essentially, it'll push out all your GL accounts. Uh, I believe it's every night it's synced. Uh, and once the mapping is set up, which you sort of do, you know, day one, you map the fields that are going to your accounting, um, basically let it leave it, and it will push that that information over nightly. So yeah, so it will update all your uh, QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop or, or whatnot, uh, essentially automatically for you once set up. Okay, good. I think we're clear. All right, let's solve all some right. more new stuff. More new stuff. What time is it? Just to make sure we're not holding everybody hostage Quarter for longer. Five. Quarter to five. So we spoke about the shopping. We spoke cart. about the shopping cart. Let's go through some new features real quick as well. Um, so this is something we talked about at the last uh, at the last conferences, and we will talk about again. Um, our our integrations. This is what really completes your online offering. So obviously the first integration we put is Lightspeed because this is probably the most crucial one to have that automated smart store. Uh, and, and then there's other solutions as well. So WorldPay is a payment processor that will work for integrated payments with Lightspeed and that will work on your website with authorize.net. Uh, we can put you in touch with someone from WorldPay. Lightspeed also have uh, Lightspeed payments, uh, which integrate with uh, Lightspeed as well. Um, for all of you American retailers, we have started working with tax jar. So I know a lot of you are worried about your Nexus situation. Where do I have Nexus? Where do I charge sales tax? What states do I sell in? Uh, tax jar is an address based tax system. It doesn't rely on zip codes or, or, or things like that. It's, it, it really geolocates that address you type in and returns the, the city, the county and, and the state rate for, for what you will need. So we started working with that consumer priority services, those um, aftermarket warranties, they've been a long time partner, they're very reliable. Um, they offer no fault warranties, so you're fishing, you want to take a picture of that trout you caught and sploosh, there goes the lens. Well, they have warranties for that. MailChimp, if you noticed how uh, our email newsletters are looking pretty dapper recently, uh, we can either <laughs> say that that's because we're using MailChimp and it's a great tool, or Ryan has stepped up his game. I think it's MailChimp. Ryan thinks it's him. Potato, <laughs> potato. Boo, um, I'm shaking my fist at him if you don't see this. <laughs> Get site control is, is this cool marketing widget that goes on top of your website. It lets you do newsletter signups. It lets you do um, on-point marketing for when somebody visits a page and they're about to leave. 
uh, ask us about get site control it's really cool for all of you that are worried about online fraud we work with signified now so signified will offer you genuine risk protection genuine insurance they they offer two methods uh, they can insure your transactions a little bit like paypal standard used to do um, they take a percentage of the sale and then they cover you for any fraud um, any non-delivered package things like that and 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 they're they're great to work with um, works with any payment gateway so that's kind of cool uh, ShipStation is a cool one as well we send all of your information all of your orders directly to ShipStation, so you can um uh, well ship <laughs> that one's pretty self-explanatory i think and it's a great app to be honest, what I'm looking at here is essentially just a bunch of tools that are available to you that um, can really allow you to compete with any online retailer. Yeah. Now, like, a, you really are like a heavy competitor when you use all these tools yourself. The advanced web store, uh, anything in the marketplace, the online photo solution, everything streamlined into one solution is what you need. And we got all those tools for you. And we have a new one for the Canadian market. Um, sorry, Americans. Uh, PayBright is available only in Canada. If you're in the US, we have something called PayPal Credit, and that's been around for a while. Uh, it's checkout financing. Um, it's been known to increase sales. It's been known to increase basket size. They have the money for the body. They don't have money for the lens. Well, oof, there you go. They have money for both now. So you can ask us about PayBright. That's going to be launching next week, actually. So very excited mm -hmm. about very that. Cool. Um, the customer journey emails. This is a more complicated one to explain. We have this system that allows you to redesign every single system email part of um, it allows you to really brand yourself. Yeah, you know? it allows you to have that high-level branding on every single touch, customer touch point. It allows you to create custom customer touch points. You can send them from the job downloader. You can send them from the MyDacus. You can send them from the job downloader and see them in the MyDacus. Your lab staff can send them. Your service staff can see them. Uh, for your you multi-store uh, outfits, it's really going to help your production, your customer service. It's, it's, it's going to help all of your customer touch points and keep your branding intact. Uh, for those of you that are using our, so we haven't done one of these in a while, so there's quite a few of them aren't there. Yeah. There's always going to be tons yeah. of upgrades. That's what we do. So take a look at your email coming soon because we're going to announce all of these individually so that you have more time to go see them. Uh, we're going to do specific webinars about all of these products. Uh, we're going through them really quickly right now, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Uh, so in that, um, improved order flow in that book engine, in that templated engine, you can now reuse images from a previous session. So you upload photos to a photo book, you want a different size, well, all of your photos are there. You don't have to restart at the upload process. A really silly one that's been out for two months and we just didn't tell anyone. At the end of the ordering process, let's say you're ordering a canvas, we're ordering a fine art print. When you go to cart, we will prompt the customer if they want another one. If they want another of that same size, we've noticed people order many of the same size and they had to go hunt and find that product all over again. Well, this really shortcuts that. And we've actually seen an increase in basket size since we've launched that. So that's very, very cool, very exciting. I'm going to cut in here for a second too. You just mentioned, and this is completely off topic, um, we're going to be sending out a lot of emails. But I'd also like to invite all of you to, you know, to start following us on Facebook on Twitter, Instagram, uh, to sign on to our YouTube channel because there's um, we'll be sharing information that way as well. So if you really want to be up to date and not miss anything, follow us everywhere and as much as you can. Yeah. Never miss what's going on. So again, uh, this actually launched today. So if you haven't placed the photo book order, you'll notice um, all of the controls were taken out of the left-hand side. All of those photo controls will also be taken out, all the text controls, all the border controls. Um, this is something from your feedback. You told us uh, some customers had issues. We found a solution. It's a very elegant solution. Go uh, order a photo book on your website right now. Another free upgrade. Uh, improved product tags. So you have this way to tag products in those new high performance responsive websites and create the, the, these rotators. This is an example of a home page. Um, earlier on today, I mentioned there was a big Nikon Z sale event going on. Uh, if, if you are on the concierge service, write to, to, to seoadax.com and ask them for that landing page. They'll tag your products. They'll create that landing page for you. You will make your Nikon rep very happy. He will shove co-op money right on your website it's a fantastic thing so those product tags ask about those product tags ask about how they work on that high performance responsive website just little design tweaks a cart rollout just a nice high touch design 
that, that dynamic call to action that that add to cart will follow you as you navigate the site yeah. and you navigate all that product information so that customer who's hesitating and is looking for the add to cart well he'll never have to look again uh, the responsive banner is that launched in the last month. So this is from our friend Paul Mayetta at Fitzy's. We love to show off his site because he does such a good job. And just you can now put three banner sizes for the, those specific touch points for your customers. That makes it way more attractive online than the mobile setting too. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm out of breath after that. That was a lot of upgrades. Well, you did good, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Pat, any questions? Um, that's pretty quiet now pretty quiet so we seem to have answered all the questions that's that's uh, never happened before leave leave the crowd the time to uh, digest maybe jump in and <laughs> try to uh, <laughs> digest so, yeah so if we're gonna stay online for another two minutes while you guys type away those questions and, and, and it's your turn now yeah while you guys are writing i'd like to uh well i'd like to thank nick and vivian for coming and visiting our offices absolute pleasure yeah, yeah. Pleasure. And, and being part of the webinar um, I'd like to thank Fat Ice for taking this big risk. You all know us out there. You know how crazy we can get. Yep. Well, <laughs> I think I think you'll fit in. <laughs> we have a few more members who have joined too. Maybe we can bring them in and they can come say hi. Who knows? Or not. So we have Alexandra who's joined. She's a, a quarterback. She'll be working a lot with the, or the team here at Lightspeed. Um, a lot of you have spoken with Jordan, and we've never formally introduced him, but he's a fantastic addition to our you team. You want to bring him in, don't you? Um... <laughs> I think, it's a good I think it's a good idea. Jordan has been around for a long time, has gotten no glory, and he's doing a great job. Let's go, buddy. Well, until it comes, man. <laughs> Come on. I just want to say that we're very excited working with you guys and yes. uh, hoping to provide a, a solution that brings value to your clients and uh, to the members of these groups because uh, we know, still with you guys, how difficult it is to sort of manage everything that's needed really to be online and in store. And uh, we're really happy with what you guys have built. So, very exciting. Yeah. yeah so, an advantage of this new <laughs> video format um, is that we can introduce yeah. you to the people that you talk to every day, the people that you email every day. So, that's Jordano. Jordano's been helping you guys a lot with your websites. For about a year. And, yeah, Jordano's been here. And that's Alex. Alex is showing the team, and, and she'll be doing some onboarding with Lightspeed, and she'll be doing some of that uh, concierge work, and she'll be doing some one on one training. So, welcome to the team. Yeah, yeah. We've also hired new graphic designers to the team as well. The team is growing. We're like something like, yeah. I don't know, 30 people now? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice size. We it's are good. growing. Oh, we've got a. Um, is it time for a question? It's always the late time question. for a question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's about the integration. Oh, no time uh, for that. From Ras <laughs> Is the actual onboarding disruptive for the operation, or that can be done if you're already using Lightspeed? So, the onboarding from from on site to to retail shouldn't be disruptive i mean it's something that can be done off to the side um yeah I, I i can't speak from experience on this one but for having just done an onboarding from a different pos to lightspeed retail which should in theory be harder uh what we did is, is we just prepped all that information uh we prepped all those import files and then that day before launch we adjusted the quantities make sure that's as up-to-date yeah. as possible as it can be with an old pos yeah. and, and then we just push that in there and the next morning you you fire up your your new point of sale but, as you said so we can prepare the retail account in parallel uh, from your early account point of sale or from on-site using lightspeed already the old uh, on-site product um like i said um you basically prepare beforehand um, the thing is that takes the most time is the biggest barrier to, to migrating is, is the catalogs and the inventory. And so, you know, with your solution, having all that heavy lifted removed from the equation for the end user, for the customer, um, that really makes the process a lot easier. And we work around <clears throat> that to provide the training when you're free, where it's uh, out of different hours, all the different staff, and we can break it down by different types of, uh, I guess, a staff that you have in your store. And then uh, you essentially, like you said, pick that go live date, make sure everything is ready in advance, and you can just switch. Yeah, so it's a parallel process. All right. That's some set up. Well, everyone, thank you for your time. Thanks, everyone, for being here. And I look forward to uh, interacting with you guys next webinar. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Y'all have a great morning, a great thank afternoon, you. a great evening, yeah. depending thank where you are in the world. Thank you.